Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Heir of Carthage here and I hope you all are ready to take a look at Karl Franz and his slightly updated campaign start. Um, you do have Helmgart which I believe is different than it used to be. Um, also they have changed a little bit here and they've added these uh, electoral machinations tab here where we have emperor's decrees and these are now things that we can spend our prestige on. Now, prestige was very helpful early on in an Empire campaign previously, but this should make it useful throughout the game because we have all these different prestige actions, like this one, for instance, which will give more recruitment capacity and reduce the cost. Inquisition, of course, target the, the target Empire region has all corruption reduced, requisition, all Elector Count State Troop units will be replenished instantly. You know, so there's a whole bunch of neat stuff here. Um, Confederate the target, Tin Fealty, uh, electric count factions. This one allows you to force that confederation. Uh, this one lets you declare war against another one, uh, another faction without having a big penalty towards a civil war. And then you can send aid. So spawn a degrading army for a target empire faction at a target region. Which increases their fealty, obviously. So lots of cool stuff that can go on um, that you can use your prestige for. Uh, the new start for Karl Franz ought to be a little simpler in some regards, like because we don't have to fight that big fort battle um, to get Helmgart. Um, so we should be able to clear up these uh, rebelling, uh, or these rebel scum, I guess you'd say. There, we got some good prestige there. Let's go ahead and roll that into our army. And let's get ready to take Brunberg. Oh man, I don't know about you all, but I am excited to get a hold of Nuln. I am so thrilled uh, next week i believe it's the 23rd when i'm able to show you all the dlc and we will definitely take a look at elspeth and we'll also take a look at the other dlc uh tamir khan and uh malachi we'll, we'll take a look at all of them um so worry not i know a lot of people have actually already showed basically all their units and those lords because there was kind of a technicality with the with I ca's um here. what do you call it uh with their there's words I'm looking for, and my my wordy bits aren't working here. Um, with their embargo, that's the word I was looking for. Good grief, it was slow to come to me. Um, I really would like to have free company militia, but I don't know, swordsmen will probably do the job. Uh, man, pistoliers are so helpful early on too. I do think I'm gonna go ahead and build this for now, and then let's upgrade uh, Altdorf and then we the need to do some recruiting cool. here. A couple of these electric count units. Yeah, wait for that. Okay, yeah, so we should be good. Let's go ahead and end our first turn here. I'm going to go ahead and start researching grain silos. And then this one right here. So start with grain silos. I like getting that extra growth early on because then it has a bigger impact as the game goes on because you will have gotten it every turn. Uh, let's get Inspiring Presence and Route Marcher. Those are some of the best ones to unlock first. Helmgart we fully control, um, which I think at this point we'd probably just, yeah, I want to do this one that gives growth so that we can make Helmsgard, uh, or Helmgart a higher tier settlement as soon as possible. We'll want to make a streak for Uber Shriek, yes, lame jokes intended. And then we'll head over to Isleheart, and then uh, we want to hit them quick too. We don't want Marienburg or someone else to come in and try and snatch one of the provinces that are rightfully ours. So definitely be one of our objectives. But yeah, I think some nice changes to Carl. It'll make him feel a little bit unique as the Emperor. Having those uh, electric count machinations, I think, is going to be really good. And then you go off the fact that they're adding new Empire units. They've changed up steam tanks. By the way, there's like a steam tank with a volley gun now. Um, again, the new units that come with oh, Elspeth. I mean, there's just a lot of nice things that I think should bring the Empire, the Empire. you know, fully into line with what we would expect, to it. I think, at this point. And I think that's the exciting news here. Let's go ahead and drop in a couple of free company militia. Or, sorry, let's do one free company, one pistolier. And I am going to tear this down. Well, I'm not going to tear it down. We'll 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 keep it there for now. Um, and then electoral machinations. There is stuff we can do. Uh, we could get an extra recruitment slot, which honestly that would probably be pretty handy these next few turns. So let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, I don't know though. Prestige. 
This is all Imperial Authority, okay. We use the prestige. I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Commendation. This one. Grant target lord army 2500 experience. Um, let's do this one here. And that yes. should unite the provinces. give me an extra let's go with an extra free company militia. And it reduced our recruitment cost a little bit. So let's go ahead and end this turn. But Uber Shriek and then our army should have grown pretty good deal for us to go ahead and move over to Isleheart and take it. Let's go ahead and attack here. Um, their army nation. force marched over to Uber Shriek to help protect it. That's good. It'll just give Carl more bodies to knock down. So let's go fight this one. The battle has begun. I'm going to move my pistoliers forward and actually see if we can yes, bait some general. fire out of nice their... Shot. Yep. We did bait some fire out of their, their mortars. I'm going to try and get their mortars firing at my pistoliers and then get my own mortars in range of some of their infantry or their um, skirmishers. Yep, there we go. So the mortar's very easy to dodge for cavalry. If you just change directions as soon as they get up in the air, then you're good. There's really pretty much no way you're going to be hit. You can even sit still like I am right here and just kind of wait for the, the mortars to launch. They're headed towards where you were moving. Um, so that's kind of the way that you know how to dodge them there. Wait for those to head up in the air. There they go. Move. Oh, that one's going to be a little bit close. Yeah, that was a little close clear. All right, let's go ahead and target those great swords. I'm going to keep these pistoliers moving, and I'm going to move up my own troops just a little bit. So I can provide some cover fire if needed. Uh, they. Oh, I thought maybe they were firing at my own mortar, but they are not. They're still firing at my cavalry, which is great. All right, we got a hit on their great sword. Let's see if we can pop their handguns. I'm gonna kind of swap targets and spread some damage. See if we can rack up some some kills for our. Ranged weapons ready. Yeah, so we're gonna move those guns forward just a little bit. Ooh, yeah, a solid hit back there on their handguns. Drop another shot towards their handguns. All right, well, we are definitely winning the range war so far, and none too surprising. I'm gonna take Carl and kind of walk over here to the middle of the army. Let's see if we score any more hits. Yep, we did score more hits, so we have landed hits every single volley so far, which is definitely good. Oh, they actually hit my cavalry there. I think they actually dropped a horseman. I didn't dodge it very well. All right, I'm going to just let the damage stack up on those great swords a little, and let's just kind of set our cavalry still. There we go. Uh, okay, more misses. Excellent. All right, so they really just don't have much of an answer for us here. It looks like their army is starting to move forward. Yeah, they are definitely marching towards us. That means I need to take my own mortar back to safety. I could just push my own army a little farther forward, but I'm going to go ahead and just drop back to safety. Their own mortar is still outside of range of my infantry. We don't want Carl to get gunned down. So I'm going to try and force them to walk right into my, my waiting guns. I'm going to take this pistolier actually, and kind of take a long arcing course back towards their artillery. I've got my Reichsguard ready to face off with their Empire Knights, and then I am holding up my flanks with Free Company Militia to give me a little bit of flexibility to shoot or melee, uh, depending on what we need to do. And then, of course, I have my handguns right here in the center, though. I am a little bit concerned about their line of fire right there. I'm going to move them to the right. I'm not convinced that their line of fire is looking very good at the moment. Okay, I can just make a break for it now with my... Uh, they're trying to hit my handguns here. I'm going to do a little bit of dodgy-dodgy. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got hit by one. I'm going to get my infantry bound up and ready to charge. I've got them in a hard group now. 
handguns are opening fire, and my pistoliers have outmaneuvered their army. Let's put a volley right into those great swords. If I can get a substantial weakening of the great swords, that will be a huge boon for me. All right, the Empire Knights are charging. Let's fall back with the handguns. And I'm going to be able to get their mortars. And now I'm going to target my own mortars onto their handguns. And I need to move my free company militia. All right, we've got their Empire Knights fixed. I'm going to actually pull one of these units. Yeah, there we go. And then let's put these free company militias in the gaps. And so, like right here, I'm gonna put some shots. And then again, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get some of these guns uh, up into a gap where they can fire through the gaps. Awesome! Well, we absolutely blasted that cavalry unit. I can now spread this out. So let's take Carl over here, and then I need my. Reichsguard. Right, yep, we are getting their mortar. Free company. At speed. No. Split up. Perfect. Got a good hit with the Reichsguard. Um, we are taking some pretty good damage to our handguns. I'm not Swordsman. loving that. Let's send the swordsman over here. Our handguns are actually getting shredded by enemy archers because they have a better arc of fire. Let's keep these Reichsguard moving and let's keep these pistol ears moving as well. Okay, we just shut up? down this opposite flank. Quick march. Swordman, Actually, march. let's bring these swordsmen. Let's push these guys up harder. Reichsguard push forward. Their units are in pretty big trouble over here. I'm gonna pull... Oh, no! Their Empire Knights came back from routing behind my lines. That was very convenient for them. Convenient, that is. Alright, let's take these swordsmen, re-intercept that. Let's keep these guys moving. Keep the pistoliers going. We're gonna get a little bit beat up in some of these fights. We should be alright. Alright, we rerouted their Empire Knights, but at great cost to our mortar team. But the mortar team can get back to firing, and I'm going to have them do so. I'm gonna target those units. I'm going to turn my guns this direction, intercept that spearman. Let's get after that. Okay. My pistoliers got a little bit cooked there. I kind of overestimated their survivability. But fortunately for me, um, my great swords have been absolutely owning, and Carl has been doing the same. I need to get my Reichsguard back to safety here. Mostly, we've just lost quite a few swordsmen at this point, which is not honestly that big of a deal. Alright, Carl has ability to augment these great swords. We're gonna do that. And I'm gonna try to get these Reichsguard reactivated. Let's get these free company to shoot those guys in the back. These swordsmen can kind of move back this way. Let's get after those great swords before they come back from routing as well. Move some of our other units back in. Reichsguard plowing through. See some crossbowmen that ought to make a juicy target. Carl has managed to kick the crap out of Hans. So that is perfect. Not surprised. Carl is pretty solid in melee. He's going to be very capable or let's start shooting all these guys up in this fight we'll break that fight up a little sooner and then the reichsguard is absolutely owning they're up to about 200 kills at this point and my great swords are owning as well it's just kind of continued bombarding okay yeah there goes their army they have fully routed our handguns got a little bit uh, cooked at a couple of spots, but otherwise did well. Managed to get a good number of kills, picking up some chevrons. The great swords did extremely well, and then the Reichsguard was another pretty solid MVP here. I'm going to use it to continue to, to run down enemy units. 
killing a bunch of archers. Yeah, this is good. So we are going to reduce the number of enemy units and just really feed the kills to this Reichsguard. They've got a ton of units that are routing, and we can quickly mock those up because they're low armor units, so our Reichsguard ought to eat them up pretty fast. Yeah, we have 367 kills. 385. Ooh, we're almost up to 400. Oh, man, the mortar just gave it to those guys. That should put us over 400. Yep, 407 kills. <laughs> Keep feeding them. All right, so we ended up with 430-ish, so that ought to be good. All right, well, we made our mortar more effective than theirs. Our Karelberg greatswords did very well, not surprised. Carl doing well, and then, like I said, the handguns, despite getting beat up, did pretty well there. Also, we're not going to lose all of our units, but we did take quite a bit of damage. I'm not going to loot. I'm just going to occupy um, so that we can try and rebuild these areas here. quickly. If I take a look at our army, uh, we need to do some recruiting, um, and we still have the three recruiting available. So I think what I'm going to do is recruit a couple more... Um, couple more free company yeah and let's do one more pistolier here as well and then on the next turn i don't know whether we can make it to Isleheart or not we will see um, we did get a, a, a wizard we got a college magic wizard here it's gonna be a celestial wizard not my favorite lore of magic but magic is magic so we're not gonna argue with that get that wizard into our army yes and then i I kind of like pistol core here because it's going to buff up the melee attack and then this one here obviously is good for for more melee defense it basically just makes your state troops stronger um look at imperial degrees we do have commendation which would potentially help here a little bit but i'm gonna wait uh we're still using our call to arms no need to be in too big a hurry let's end our turn research finished over that turn in so i'm going to switch over to colonial factors here which will give us a couple of useful ones: supply wagons um, and then on into colonial factors so we're going to do that and then of course state troop standards is not a bad one and then mass produced small ammunition is also uh, quite useful uh, early on there's there's a bunch of good tech here for the empire so we will kind of keep working our way is through that time? now we can reach isleheart on this turn in so let's do that we want to take away anything that these dissenters have we're gonna lose a couple swordsmen it's not a big deal we can get them back could have fought that and made sure not to lose them but it's okay we'll be all right so we got rid of the empire secessionists we have secured the reichland which is exciting um we have uh, kind of duplicate buildings here so i'm gonna get rid of one of those i want to get the clay pit started so we can take advantage of the pottery uh, we can't do the special buildings till tier three, but we'll probably want defenses, I would think. And a warrior priest would be pretty cool. And then cavalry early on would be really good too. War wagons would be a heck of a lot of fun early on. War wagon mortars, great cannons. Dang, man, this is a fun one too. Oh man, I'm going to do the wagons. And then we have a free building that'll come up there as well. So we're going to have access to quite a few different units here pretty early on. Helvgart has already grown because we threw that extra growth to it, which is great. And then speaking of extra growth, I'm going to do that same um, uh, kind of commandment here for Reichland. And if I take a look at what we can recruit, we're going to need a couple of swordsmen to replace the ones we lost to kind of help hold the main line. We're good on free company militia. I think we're good on handguns. Archers are kind of helpful because they can fire up over the top of the line, but I'm just going to go with uh, pistoliers here because they're kind of a good mobile platform uh, for me to get a lot of damage done uh, relatively quick. And with some upgrades, they become kind of ludicrously strong, which is really quite fun. So like speed of horse, what is it? Yeah, I think it's just pistol core that buffs the, yeah, the pistoliers. They get a, a good solid buff there. All right, so let's see. Honest Steel goes to those. I'm just trying to remind myself which one does which. Imperial Gunnery, okay. Imperial Special Forces. Emperor of Men. That one hits Pistoliers as well. Missile Strength for Electric Count State Troops, yep. 
So we have ways that we can certainly get some some improvements done to our pistoliers and and make them substantially stronger. Bring an unassigned skill point for Ludwig, uh, who is our celestial. Let's go do harmonic convergence so we can start opening up. I think wind blast would be pretty useful. And curse of the midnight wind. Both of those very uh, useful spells. And we made it through the turn end. I want to take a look at quick deal. Yes. The court of the night. Once a non-aggression pact. Why would I give them such a thing? Oh, no, before... All right, Talibic land wants a trade agreement, and I certainly would Only approve of that. And by the way, Bronze does not get any penalties for trespassing into other electric counts, so that makes it easier for us to go help. So like, for instance, uh, old Boris is already going to need some help, so we're going to head his way. Let's propose this offer. Mistress of and Oz. that's all the other trade we can do right now, but I might go Lord ahead and take this non-aggression pact with Caravan. Propose that one. And then, what? Court of the Night, I could care Lance. less what they want. So, all right. They can yes. die or re-die or undie or whatever it is that vampires do. Because I guess it's kind of hard to know sometimes. Uh, we can go ahead and recruit, like finish recruiting up some units. I got a nice little splurge of cavalry here. I think I'm going to wait a turn, though, because I'm going to finish this building where we can get a hold of war wagons, which I think will be a lot of fun. All right, folks, we got a bit of a situation. Old Kazarak the One-Eye is about to get revenge on uh, Mr. Toddy, so we need to send some help his way. And check it out. Send aid. So we will send aid to uh, to Karelberg here to help Midland. So let's perform this. So that will help them. Uh, I think it gains me fealty, and then it gives them an additional army uh, to kind of help protect them while I'm still a ways off. So the there they go. They'll get another little now. 12 unit stack to kind of help them out. And I'm going to move up and get ready to jump in Unless here. And then it looks like, oh my gosh, it. there's green skins here too. Yeah, Todd Bringer has, has got his work cut out for him here. The original Electra count here. So we need to, uh, to get up and head north and start to help them out. Now, while that's happening, we've got buildings that we need to take care of uh, back here in the Reichland, and so we will continue to do that. But we've got a fairly secure flank here with Nuln, and then I don't see Skarsnik down here on my other flank, and then we've got Helmgart up here, which will provide a, a sturdy garrison and should be a good defense as well. Well, despite my best effort to help, um, Kazarak hit them, and then the Greenskins did a follow-up attack. So unfortunately, Toddbringer's faction was destroyed. Um, and I do have a mod going that allows me to, to pick up the, the Lord, but it hasn't updated yet. It didn't give me the option to pick up, um, Toddy's faction. So I don't know exactly how that works, whether we'd be able to help raise him up again or not. I, I'm not really sure what the case is, but I'm not that worried about it one way or the other. Um, I do want to go ahead and do some recruiting here, and I'm going to throw a couple... Those war wagons have a lot of missile strength. That seems different than it used to be. I don't remember it being that high. Let's give them a shot. Um, I've cut all of this uh, cavalry like for harassment, which should be pretty fun. My infantry line is not going to be super strong, considering we're going up against green skins. That could get a little dicey. Summon the elector counts. But I think we'll be all right. So let's get those war wagons in. And then let's uh, head across here and stick it to these uh, green skins. Well, well, well. The beast path interception. So here's old Kazrak trying to get by, uh, past us. Now, unfortunately, we won't have our war wagons. But we can go ahead and still give Kazrak a beating. This battle could potentially get tough. Kazrak's on a chariot. And then we also have to deal with these Razor Gore chariots. Chariots are just going to be downright dangerous to us at the moment. I need to try and lure units with my... They're using... And what that was, Spirit Leech or something to hurt me there from a distance. Not unexpected. I'm going to try and pull these Warhounds in here and kill them. They are unshielded and basically unarmored and ought to be relatively easy victims, other than their speed being somewhat of a concern. I'm a little bit surprised that my Pistoliers aren't killing them even faster. They really don't have armor. So I would think that Pistoliers should be shredding these guys something fierce here. Okay. Let's pump some shots into those. Warhounds. 
There we go. The handgunner's got it done. Um, I'm gonna pull my my mortar is up here. Okay, we got rid of the warhounds. Let's go push back a second run here. I've kind of split my army, and I'm using this little thing here. We, we really need to keep an eye on Kazrak. Kazrak is gonna have to be shot by my handgunner. There's really nothing else short of the handgunners is gonna stop Kazrak. He's gonna be very good against infantry. He's going to have a lot of armor piercing. He's going to be absolutely devastating to our state troops. So Kazrak has to die. And it's another Spirit Leech. The Spirit Leech is being kind of ridiculously effective against my Pistoliers. It is taking a ton of hit points off of them, way more than it seems like it should be. All right, good. We're getting to shoot up that Razor Gore Chariot just a little bit. Killing the Razor Gore Chariot would be a huge win as well. I'm going to try and lure that Razor Gore Chariot back towards Bronze here. And I kind of want Bronze to come down here in front, see if we can lure units first. I'm going to target that. Okay, we do have Kazrak and the other Chariots headed here. I'm going to pull back and I'm going to hope. Hope against hope. I'm going to target Kazrak with my guns. We did take a big chunk out of Kazrak right there. Going to have to try and kill off. Took another big chunk out of Kazrak. All right, Kazrak is going to go down in a hail of bullets here. That is extremely fortuitous for me. So that is very, very good news. For us now let's kind of back up right, let's keep Carl back here at a respectful distance we just have those um, razor gore chariots left at this point Ooh, those guys are getting logged by my my free company I'm gonna come in here and try and kind of block this charge a little bit with my Reichsguard and then fall back all right, let's send some state troops to reinforce over here. And then I need to kill those Razor Gore chariots. I'm going to target them with all my firearms and see if we can get some lucky volleys here. The Razor Gore chariots have a lot of... Look at that. The Razor Gore chariots are just deleting my swordsmen over here. That is absolutely frustrating. All right, we got a good charge through there with the Reichsguard. I'm going to try and... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Getting good damage done. I don't know if Kazrak... Kazrak did not come back from routing. And we did finally get rid of the chariots. Yes, sir, quickly. That is so My good for us. Goal, There's another warhound unit right here, Emperor. though. And our swordsmen are, are getting trounced on pretty good right now. I'm going to target these Minotaurs. Put as much fire into them. I, I've got an opening for my Reichsguard yes. now, and I'm gonna buff up my Karaburn Great Swords. And I now have an opening to get to these Ungor Raiders back here, and then I can bring reinforcements across the map. So this is now looking quite good. It's a little bit concerned early, and I'm gonna pull these handgunners back. They're just getting picked apart by Ungor Raiders right now. I'm going to target the Ungor Raiders. My infantry is really struggling. Not a surprise. This is where the Beastmen are at their best. And state troops are not exactly a, a great matchup against Beastmen infantry. Anything with low armor is pretty susceptible to the Beastmen. Okay, we have got... We've got their missile units cleared up. We just need our infantry to hold out a second longer, and our Karaburn Greatswords have arrived on station. I'm gonna lay into this Bray Shaman with my Free Company Militia, and that ought to really swing the power bar a little bit with him losing so many hit points. And then I can bring this Reichsguard in, and we'll try and save the bacon of our state troops here. Let's go ahead and do another harmonic convergence in the Karabur Great Swords. All right, I've got my free company militia in firing position now, and that is going to be all she wrote. A pretty strong beastman force here, stronger than I thought. 
Um, but we were able to deal with it, mainly because we were able to deal with Kazrak. If we hadn't dealt with Kazrak like that early, that could have been disastrous. You saw what those chariots, like those best, or whatever, those beast chariots or whatever they brought in, those were just absolutely flattening my line. I don't know if they're still broken, but I know those things at one point were like utterly broken in terms of how much damage they did. But uh, they were they were doing a tremendous amount of damage to my infantry, like an unacceptable amount of damage. There we go. Just trying to kill off some of these beastmen that are routing. We did manage to get a good chunk of them. My my Reichsguard once again clutching out a lot of kills here. Very useful unit. All right, well we picked up some prestige there for down in Kazrak. A little bit of treasury. Should all be useful stuff. I'm going to take the replenishment because we've got more fights to fight, and very soon. Looks like uh, Marienburg may be coming in for a little bit of justice for Todd Bringer. Nope, they ran back home. Decided to leave that justice to me, and that's fine. I'll take care of it. But uh, the Beastmen get stopped cold there. Oh, now we can accept the refugees. So I actually should have Todd Bringer now as an available legendary lord. Has been issued. Though I can't, um, I can't, uh, field him at the moment. Enemy killed. Okay, good stuff. Alright, good stuff. Alright. We did pick up our war wagons, which gives me a lot of ammunition and high damage. We are not at war with this greenskin faction, but we honestly might as well be, because it's coming whether we like it or not. Um, let's take a look and see if we have any machinations here that could be useful. Commendation could be a little bit useful. Um, we, we gotta take these green skins out. Isagoth. All right, it's gonna give me an auto resolve and we only lose a swordsman. That feels like that's probably tolerable. Let's go ahead and do that. But anyway, there you go. Kind of a look at the way that the start goes for Karl Franz, at least at the moment. Now, obviously, your mileage may vary when you play these. You never know uh, quite what may happen. So we have picked up Karaburg, and there's a lot of corruption and mess going on up in Karaburg at the moment. Uh, let's build up Karaburg. So I need to replace my swordsman which would take two turns if I do it from up here and would cost more. That's kind of irritating. But I do need to replenish a little bit as well. So I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world. These swordsmen are not amazing, but um, they are helpful, at least in just kind of holding a line. But hopefully that gives you all a look at the Karl Franz campaign. I, the electoral uh, machinations are kind of cool. I like that addition. Um, and I kind of like the, how they swapped up the start just a little bit here, giving you Helmgart that makes things a little nicer. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this. And then again, the Prestige has something fun to be used for later in the game. So that feels like a nice mechanic there as well. Anyway, Heir of Carthage signing out. I will see you all soon with some more action in Total War Warhammer 3.